Motocross 338 and Loretta Lynn's qualifier on the line. Pro Sport class. These are the fastest riders in New England, all vying for nine open positions for the Loretta Lynn's qualifier. We got Robbie Marshall. Number 444, Justin Coquino. Robbie Marshall's going to be sending it. Go, Robbie! Number 444 is on the gas with a big hole shot. Hot on his trail, Keith Johnson, number six. Ironically, Justin is one of Keith's students. Canning's in third. These guys are battling. Second moto, it is whooped out, it is gnarly. These are all the fastest pro riders in the Northeast. Kokinos is on the gas. Ironically, Kokinos is one of Chris Canning's students at the Canning Speed Establishment. I guess he's been paying attention in class, folks. He's been running up front all day long. Looking good. It's on like Donkey Kong with these two. We got Canning just send it. There's Keith Johnson and Ford. Where is Robbie Marshall? There's Mario Testa. These guys are putting on a show, folks. Keith Johnson in fifth place. Sixth place. Holy shit! This guy just cartwheeled. He literally cartwheeled down the track. Keith Johnson holding down a solid fifth place in the pro class. Track official Vic O'Brien, he's been coming here forever. One of the pro riders went down on the sweeper. Here comes Grand Slam champion Chris Kidding on the gas. Just flying. Putting on a clinic here, folks. Here comes his student Justin Brown. Robbie Marshall is on the move. He came, got a, got a bad start, worked his way through the pack in seventh place. I think he just passed uh, for seventh right now. Mario Testa's on the move too, coming up through the pack. 
on a 250. He had a rough first moto. Second place. Third and fourth place right here. Keith Johnson looking good in fifth. Here comes Robbie Marshall, sixth place. On the gas, moving up fast. He is absolutely flying. This section here is getting really gnarly here. I've seen a couple guys cartwheel through here, flying off the bike, one foot on the bike. Kokinos has got a so solid second place lockdown. All that practice here at South is paying off. Robbie Marshall hot on the trail of Keith Johnson. Here comes our leader, Chris Canning, pulling away as usual. He's absolutely flying. Look at the lead he's got on second place. It's unbelievable. Here's Coquino. Second place. Third place. Fourth. Robbie Marshall is all the way up to fifth. Keith Johnson. Keith is in sixth. Still holding down second place, Justin Coquitos. Here comes Mario Tessa on a 254 stroke. In the top 10, just broke the top 10. Kanan's got a huge lead on second here. He's putting on a clinic. Just flying. Fifteen second lead over second place. Robbie Marshall is coming up fast, folks. He's in fifth place, but not for long by the looks of things. Second place, third place, fourth place. Here's Marshall in fifth. Marshall on the inside. Swooping on the inside. Here comes Chris with a huge lead, probably 20 second lead now. Absolutely ripping. Same thing as last weekend. Justin Coquitos looking good in second place. Robbie Marshall is on the move. Fourth place. Got a back of the pack start. Did it the hard way. Had to work his way up. Justin Coquinos has got a little company here. Third place, about a second behind. Here comes Justin on the fast line. Oh, he's going over the 
That's going to cost them. 777 smells blood in the water. One mistake and he's on him. We got a battle here for second place. So far gone. Marshall is on the move, folks. On the move. Passing for third. Just past the fourth, third place rider. We're from fourth to third. Setting his sights on Coquinos. Coquinos better. Uh, Coquinos just looked behind him. Said, oh no, Marshall's coming up fast. Justin's been training at this track every week. He's got it dialed. Robbie Marshall's a guy that could top 10 a national here on a good day. It has. These guys are absolutely flying. for second place here, folks. Coquinos on the outside. Marshall on the inside. Chris Canning is so far ahead, he's in a race all his own right now. Thanks for watching and God bless America. God bless Southwick Motocross 338. The Wick 338. And this is a Henry Highway. Right here. So Chris Canning just came from fifth place to a 40 plus second lead in the pro class. How do you do it, Chris? Uh, just hard work, I guess. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time, so I just keep pushing and work out during the week. Training's key on this track. It, it looks pretty gnarly and whooped out there, but you made it look smooth. Yeah. You made the Henry Highway look like a highway. How's your bike running? Awesome. Yeah, it's so good. I, I, I'm glad I made the switch back. These things just, they work with me for some reason, so uh, having a lot of fun on it. Is this a 2020 or 21? 21. 21, it's a KTM 4, 450, right? Yep. That's right, so what are you, what are you plans? Are you, are you uh, all set for Loretta's? You gotta go to the regional now? And... Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm up in the air between doing Loretta's and doing outdoors, so uh, I don't know, we'll see how things go. Uh, right now I'm planning on Loretta's, but I just feel like I belong outdoors, so we'll see. Um, you certainly got them covered here at the Wick. I'm sure you're going to be running up front. Love to see you in the National. But uh, when, when will we know if you're running the National or the uh, Loretta Lins? Uh When I'm lined up on the gate. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you can you can wait till the last last minute on that? Yeah, or? pretty much a week before I can sign up. So. That's awesome. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Keep, uh, keep it. Last week's video, you came from, I think, I don't know if it was if you crashed or went yeah, off the track or something. Yeah, dead I had last. A rock stuck in my from, rear brake. From dead last to first, and I think you won by 20 something seconds, right? And that one. Yeah. So this one you came from six with a 40 plus lead. So nice ride, man. I think you kind of have to go to the nationals to, yeah. to, to, to get challenged, but yeah. great riding, man. Thank you.